Hi guys, this is Gurni. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to analyze data in Excel using a sales data set. Data analysis is the process of cleaning, transforming and analyzing raw data to obtain information, useful information and relevant insights which are presented in the form of graphs, charts, tables, etc. for decision making. Microsoft Excel is one of the most used data analysis programs which allows to exp uh, interpret data and examine data in a variety of ways uh, using formats like conditional formatting, we have power pivot, we have functions and data analysis tool etc. So now looking at the data set, we have a sales data set which is divided into two parts. One part shows us the sales as per the salesman. This is the salesman and we have the total sales as per the salesman and then we have a monthly uh, data uh, monthly sales as per every month and this is called the yearly sales. So in total we have in combined way we have a sales data set. So we will be performing data analysis on sales data set. Coming to our first step in data analysis, which is conditional formatting. So conditional formatting is used is an effective tool which is used for rank, highlight, insert icons or color scale sales data. So we will be using conditional formatting to be, depict the sales trends, right? So for that, first I will select my this table 13. So yeah, first I will select my total sales column and then I'll go to conditional formatting and then icon sets. And in this matter, I have depicted the sales trend in my this. Same way, I can just select my months and do conditional formatting and highlight or top. I can just top my 10 items. So clicking OK. So that means these are the top 10 sales uh, top 10 uh, sales items as per the salesman so in mary 80 so it has highlighted me the top 10 sales items right sales trend we can see now in this column also i can do conditional formatting then i can just fill out my data bars so in this matter it has given me a trend using a data bar right so i hope conditional formatting step is clear now coming up to our second step in analyzing our data which is pivot tables so pivot tables what it does is it organizes data and has the ability to sort them automatically so it offers much flexibility to assign different fields as its rows and columns we have a pivot field over the, uh, in our uh, pivot table worksheet and uh, we can assign values as its rows or columns or values so even existing entries can be displayed as their rows or columns percentages right so what we'll do is we'll uh, first select our table one right and then we go to insert and we insert a pivot table so in this manner we have pivot table fields and we have columns field rows and values so what I'll be doing is I'll be inserting ro uh, rows uh, as my salesman, right? In my rows, I'll be inserting salesman. And then in my values, so it will be the sum, right? So I will be writing sum of Jan, sum of Feb. So for every month, I'm writing this, right? April, May, June, right? So this is showing me that in every month, this was the grand total, right? Now we can what we can do is the next step which is to insert we can even insert our pivot chart right so before inserting chart as I said that we can uh, existing entries can also be in the form of percentages right so I'll be clicking on the cursor and value field settings and then show value as so in here percentage of grand total right so when i so in this manner i will be selecting for everything show value field settings show value as and click ok
right so and then go to value field settings show values as and click okay same for the may and june as well right so this is our showing showing it as a percentage value right now right now coming to we can also include a pivot chart over here so i can just insert it so you can see i can just remove the fields hide value right so i hope the second step is also clear now coming up to our third step which is rank function so a rank function is used to return the rank of a given value by comparing a list of numeric values so the its syntax goes by rank and then the brackets we mention the number and reference and then the order which can be ascending or descending so we will be using rank function to rank our sales data so i have separated my months and salesman column over here so i will what i'll be doing is i'll going to i'll go to home and in my formulas i'll insert function and then again i'll write rank over here so it has given me so see rank reference and the order right so what i'll do what will be the what will be my number so it will be the cell in which i have to put so that is l l Two, right? So L two, comma. Now the reference. So what is my reference will be? So it will be D two till G and eleven. right and in my order so uh, if it's if i want to be uh, want a descending order it will be a zero or if i want one or rank in the list as ending order is equal to any zero so i will be writing a descending order i will be mentioning zero so this is my function here we have to write down the b right so you can see that it has given me now we can do this for every like this right so for every now we can fill handle also using fill handle i can just again So I'll just fill it up like this again. Fill handle. And in this manner, we have the ranking for every salesman and for every month. right so i hope this part is also clear this step is also clear now coming up to our fourth step which is slicer so slicer are 
it just works like a filter and it can help in depicting individual sales data with help of a chart so to insert a, we will be inserting a slicer to in, uh, analyze our sales data so to insert chart we have to organize our data into an excel table so for that what we'll do we will select our table and in my insert i'll just insert a chart so i can use this chart and remove my chart title so before that we can also insert our slicer here and in my slicer i have to mention my salesman right so i will just place it here and drag it down so i have all my salesman and my chart now i want to see for individual so you can see for every individual uh salesman we can have a data set we can also clear the filter and i can have a combined i can also use in my chart a so in my chart i can also use a scatter plot as well so using this this is my combined one this is my scatter plot so let me just remove this so in this manner i can also see so for each and every individual uh, salesman i have my scatter plots here right see so i hope even slicer part is also clear and i can also remove the filter like this so it will give me the scatter plot and my clustered column right so i hope uh step 4 is also clear now coming up to our fifth step which is analyze data using a trend line now sometimes what happens is we get a yearly data to sales data to analyze it so in those cases what we can use we can use a line charts which allows user to display the trends within the occurred sales so now we have this yearly sales right now what we can do is we will select this table and go to insert again and in insert we'll see we'll see this so now you can see that it has given me a trend line a chart a trend line which says that whatever how how my trend is going as per a year so you can see in jan uh, till jan to march the sales went down and then from march to april it went above and then it escalated so you can see there is a trend line right so this is what i can remove the chart title so using a yearly sales data as shown in this data set we can also have a date a trend line which show which helps us to analyze how our trend was for a for a full year right so i hope this this step is also clear now coming up to our sixth step which is sorting sales data to find greater values so data sorting is a quick way to get an instant comprehension of data so what we do we use it to sort our data to find the maximum or minimum number of values so for example in our yearly sales data i want to see the uh, sorting in an order of largest to smallest so what i'll do i'll go to home and sort and select and custom sort okay so first we need to select the table range right so i'll select the table sort and filter and custom sort then in my sort by i want the monthly earning right so i want it from largest to smallest so i'll click okay and you can see that in the month of august i have the highest sales and highest earnings and in my month of october i have this very minimum sales minimum uh, earnings right so in this manner we sort our data 
we can also use uh, other values so we can also sort our data using i have to select the range so select the table sort and filter custom sort and then i add a level and in my level i add the monthly sales right so monthly sale also from largest to smallest and click okay so you can see that it has arranged the monthly sales from largest to smallest so i hope sixth step is also clear in data analysis now coming up to our last step in our data analysis which is analyze at data analysis tool so data excel offers a data analysis feature in the data tab to so what it does is it incorporates multiple analysis tool to analyze data so we will be using a descriptive statistics in our uh, data so what i'll do is i will select my data i have selected my data and when i go to my data tab you can see that there is a data analysis feature right so i will be selecting it and a dialog dialog box will open up dialog box will open up and in this we can see that we have a lot of uh, analysis tools but we are going to use descriptive statistics so i'll click okay and i will mention my range so in my range i'll be writing down my whole range so so i have to perform data analysis on my descript on my monthly earning right so i'll be writing down c to till Thirteen, right? And in my output range, I can just write down G so I'll just use my and right. and i'll click okay so i had didn't choose the statistical option so i'll click okay and you can see that it has given me the mean let me just expand it so it has given me the mean standard error median mode standard deviation so these are minimum value the maximum value the sum the count the largest so for the monthly earning it has given me all the statistics value so in this manner we can use the data analysis tool and perform descriptive statistics so i hope the last step is also clear thanks for watching